versus the Mewtwo against the Diddy. Still has a potential counter pick, Sheik, but we're going to stick with the uh, the Diddy Ditto here. And we saw in the last set between these two, uh, we saw Angel doing a very good job with the Brawl style double banana combos. And we saw a lot of the matches start off like this with Angel taking control. I love how they match colors. Yeah, they, with, they with match with players. player one and player two. They do that stuff on purpose. I know they do. I mean, Dill does play blue Diddy and Angel does play red yeah. Diddy. Angel switches back and forth between this and the uh, the gray one. All right, Dill going for the trump, forcing Angel to recover high. Reads the air dodge, playing super patient, goes for <laughs> the back air flips. shield. And both banana peels on the ground, playing some brawl tech. Angel Cortez showing it's 2008 again. ADHD, is that you? <laughs> yeah, Angel, Angel was really uh, outplaying Dill in the item game in the last set. That was really how Angel was able to win. They were going fairly even in neutral most of the time, but Angel getting the maximum conversions with those double bananas and taking Dill's banana away when, when he could instead of just using his own. And we're seeing a slight lead for Angel here, but it's closer than a lot of the matches were, the sets, the matches were in the winner's side. So you mentioned that Angel wins in the item game. Do you think possibly that Dill shouldn't be spawning banana peels as much? Uh, I think it's possible, but at the same time, you have to spawn them so that you have one to compete with Angels, because Diddy with a banana versus Diddy without is a pretty bad matchup for the one without. Oh, of course, in of neutral. Course. But at the same time, I think Dill has to be more careful with his items. I think Dill has a habit of sort of leaving the items around and playing away from it, uh, which is not something you want to do against Angel, because he's specifically seeking out those situations and taking his own banana to stand right next to Dill's, so he has that double banana pressure for the combos or just for the shield pressure and the potential grab mix-ups. I mean, he's do he seems to be doing a good job this time around, actually doing the right brawl there, yeah. against Angel, taking it back, taking away stock numero one. And Dill has Angel's banana. He was unable to spawn one on that platform when he came back. Nice patience from Dill, waiting for the let go of the shield. He's getting the double back here, only heard about in Legends. Oh, he thought the first one was his, I bet. He definitely thought that first appeal was his. And it's so easy to lose track yeah, of which appeal is yours in the ditto. It's difficult in the ditto. The diddio. Or is it just the diddo? No, I like Didio. We're going to call it Didio. charge F smash. That's going to take the first stock, but a 76% lead for Dill. Uh, all three of the games in winner's side had uh, Angel with a pretty massive lead after the first stock, and Dill managed to bring one of them back, but Angel was still able to close out the set. Now we're seeing the roles switched, and we're seeing Angel with a significant deficit right now. But right here we see his item game coming together again. Very Punching rare. all these neutral layers on shield, though. Very rare do you see someone slip on a banana peel and you're waiting for them to make a first move because you have another banana peel in hand. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're totally going back uh, to the days of Broken Meta Knight. And Angel still going for these neutral layers, and he, he gets that one there. Dangerous move, though, is, uh, especially if you're not landing with it because then it has a decent amount of end lag in the air. Plus, it doesn't really have any combos if it's... <laughs> <laughs> this is just silly. The boat is slipping. Ripped. They need to stop eating banana peels, uh, bananas in general, so much. Where are they keeping all the peels? Where are their pockets? Where are they even pulling it from? I'm so <laughs> lost and confused. We saw a banana beat out other banana in that interaction. And now we're seeing Angel start to take control of the neutral again with the items. 151 to 99. Dill has a slight advantage, but either one landing a down tilt can spell deadly. Or an just, up tilt. <laughs> just like an up tilt. A little up smack right there from Dill is going to take... Game one, uh, we saw the whole set played on Town and City last time, so I wouldn't be surprised if Angel just runs it right back. Uh, and that was a very close game, so I'd be surprised if he changed characters, although never out of the question with Angel. John probably hoping that Angel wins the set again because right. he has to play the winner of this again. And he, he looked pretty dominant against Angel on winner's side, with 2 owing him, uh, forcing him off of Diddy. And the history between him and Dill is not the greatest. Certainly, and of course Dill also has a Sheik, which is a matchup Numbers really doesn't like. Um, I would say a more difficult matchup by quite a bit for Wii Fit. Uh, Wii Fit Diddy, not all that terrible. Certainly numbers makes it look good, but I don't, I don't think in general the matchup is that bad, whereas Sheik really zones out Wii Fit and forces her to play a different style. And I would see Angel see once again here. losing a game and opting to go for a counter pick instead of sticking to his gun. Diddy Kong, is, well, he is sticking to his gun. Dill. That was Dill. That was Dill. Wait, switching. I'm so sorry, Angel. That was Dill. Um, hovering over Falco for a second. I called Angel out for... I called Angel mistake. out. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Angel. <laughs> Anyway, Forgive we are me. right back on Town and City, still with the appropriate colors for player one and player two. Um, player four, the Peach Man, should probably play Green Peach. That, that would work out well for this. <laughs> anyway, that's not relevant. We're seeing more banana uh, bananigans right here with these two. 
<laughs> he gets banana comboed while holding a banana. He got him on that tap platform. There, there was like a couple more percent. Can you imagine like an up throw up air off the top stage? I've seen that happen before. Yeah, I think uh, not quite at the percent range for that yet, but certainly something to look out for on that transformation of this stage. Something you see on Battlefield quite a bit. Okay, shooting the peanut pop gun off stage. Maintaining stage control, Dill playing completely different than he did for winners. Yeah, Dill looks really solid right now. Just winning these little neutral interactions. We were talking earlier uh, when, when this set was on in winners about how the Diddy Ditto, you're reliant on these individual wins of neutral that'll get you maybe 20 or 30% each. Uh, and it's not as much about zero to death strings or super early kills unless you can get some kind of edge guard. But it's about consistently winning neutral and racking up damage until you can get that right there as he gets banana down tilt up smash and Dill has a significant lead right now. Complete One opposite away. from their winner's bracket run that we saw previously. Yeah. I remember when Dill was getting water, taking a year to get water previously, he mentioned that he's like, wait, I have to fight Angel again? After I told him, he was just so upset that he had to play Angel again. He's like, I don't want to deal with this a second time. But he must have learned Boy, something. Boy, dealing with it right now, though. In, the, in this best... Two and we're seeing, we're seeing the exact opposite in that we're still seeing Angel totally in it, and he's starting to bring this game back. But now we're seeing a couple more wins for Dill in the neutral. Building up some percent on Angel's second stock as Angel goes for a risky edge guard and doesn't quite get it. Synchronized banana pulse. Hey, okay, good stuff from Angel actually picking up the banana peel that was thrown at him. You don't want the Diddy Kong having two of them. It's just no bueno. Looking for a down tilt. Tries to get the grab. I guess he, he expected a fast fall from Angel instead of just the normal fall. Rolling away from the down tilt and the up smash. Not getting the conversion. And this is... Uh, Close to percent, but almost a full stock down at this point for Angel Cortez. Really in trouble and getting very, very close to up smash percent. Already at kill percent for a forward smash. That's a forward smash. <laughs> a forward smash right there from Dylan. He gets the two stock, and he's going to move on to losers finals against John Numbers. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Got him. Dominant game two right there after uh, three close games and winners and a pretty close game one. Dill ran away with that one, and Angel was just unable to find a kill. And Dill's going to move on to play against John Numbers. This set, one go. of our favorite sets. I remember watching this in the Nebulous days back in 2015. 